I feel a, a duty, a responsibility to do a little more. Gary Sinise has loved ones who are Vietnam veterans and knows the battles they face. They came home and people were spitting on them. People were shouting at them. I have friends who are Vietnam veterans who had actually bags of feces thrown at them when they got off the airplane. Sinise started supporting Vietnam veterans in the early 80s. I had spent time with actual Vietnam veterans and I had a lot of compassion for them. I had a lot of I wanted to help them. I'm Lieutenant Dan Taylor. Welcome to Fort Platoon. The role that changed his life helped him change theirs. Lieutenant Dan was now going to become a you know bigger role in my life because he was a wounded veteran. After 9-11, Sinise made it his mission to serve those who serve us. People started getting killed. Families were losing loved ones. And I, I was just, you know, I was my heart was broken. I wanted to get out and do something. We don't forget. Okay. He launched the Gary Sinise Foundation, which serves veterans, first responders, and their families through multiple programs. When joy connects to mission, a life of purpose begins to take shape. This Veterans Day and every day, Sinise encourages us to do a little more for those who do so much for us. If everybody in the country just did a little more, you know, pat them on the back. You see a soldier walking through the airport, just go up and say, you know, I appreciate what you do. That that could change somebody's life.